Dancing through life in your ring cut Hampton. Today we have another video for you. Nothing matters, but no one nothing matters. It's just, just Broadway time for you. Hey guys, today we have another interview with Kurt Hansen. Woo! He was in Wicked, Kinky Boots, Next to Normal, and Hairspray. So let's get on to the video. Here we go. Broadway time. Let's so, do this. Once again, how did you get into theater? So I started uh, theater in middle school. I was, I think, in sixth grade. I um, joined the stage crew of a production of Annie Jr. And my parents, I was a really quiet kid. My parents were shocked that I even joined that because, you know, that's kind of taking a, a leap of faith or a step out of my comfort zone, right? Um, so I was on stage crew for Annie Jr. in sixth grade. And I was, you know, moving sets on and off stage. And I remember hearing the audience from the backstage and I was like, I want them to laugh and clap for me. So the next year I auditioned for Fiddler on the Roof Jr. And I got a part in it and kind of the rest was history. I was hooked. What is your dream role? My dream role, I always say, has, hasn't been written for me yet. You know? Yeah. Uh, um, but if I had to choose one that was written for me, um, I mean, I really love Spring Awakening now that I think about Ooh, it more. So maybe Melchior and that. Um, I actually did get cast in the tour of Spring Awakening back in 2008, but I had to make a really tough choice between, I, you know, you hear the saying, when it rains, it pours. Literally, had to, I had three jobs that I had to choose between. It was the tour of Spring Awakening, uh, Bye Bye Birdie on Broadway, or a production of Parade in Los Angeles. And I ended up choosing that That's because cool. it was just cool to be in a in that show. It was a really small show, and it was in Los Angeles. And do you guys watch Praise Anatomy? Yes. Yeah. So George, T.R. Knight played the lead in that so that was pretty cool too to have like kind of like stars yeah. in it you know yeah. so um long story short i'd probably say melchior in spring awakening yeah so what is a musical you've done that you would never do again and why oh um that's tough but it can be like my whole history of musicals yeah. hmm probably anything goes Mainly because I don't want to ever tap dance again in my life. And I've had <laughs> okay. to do it a couple times. And I'm just like, it's like, no one wants to see that. I don't want to do it. Like, let's just, let's just cut that out of my right. life, you know? Um, so I would say that. And usually, like, I don't love older shows. Like, I know they have its place in theater history for a reason. And they're all brilliant. But my voice and what I do kind of lends itself to more contemporary shows. What musical or play would you want to create? Hmm. To create? Or like direct. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Mm -hmm. I was like, hmm, that's a tough one. Um, that is tough. I mean, I haven't done any directing really. So I would probably, I think a fun one to do would be like Susical. It'd be <laughs> yeah, a good thing to kind of start that. off. And it's kind of, there's a lot of interesting stuff that's already written for you and you can kind of, use your imagination but within the world they've created for you nothing can really be wrong so I think I would want to maybe start there because it's like it's a crazy world to yeah, begin with yeah. um and then kind of I don't know maybe do like do like a play or like a small play with a couple actors would be pretty cool too um what is your favorite stage door memory Ooh, um I love I love all stage door memories. Like I, I love talking to people. Um, but my favorite one actually is with, uh, it's a memory of mine, but it wasn't, had nothing to do with me. It was my friend, Ray Matsumura. He played Chistri on tour with me, um, uh, 10 years ago. But this time when I was doing the show on Broadway, he came up and had like a week in advance. He knew he was making his Broadway debut. 
And after the show, I was like, oh, it was awesome. It was so great. You're going to go out the stage door? He was like, nah, I don't know. Like, nah, I might just sneak out. I'm like, no, you are going out the stage <laughs> door and I am going to watch you and take pictures. And he came out and everyone went crazy for him. And the pictures that I got were really awesome and special. So that's my favorite memory. Mm-hmm. Um, biggest show mishap. Biggest show mishap. Well, I have, I have a lot, have had a lot of mishaps, um, mm-hmm. full disclosure. Um, one of my, I have two. So, uh, a short one was there was a rope swing in Wicked at the end in act two. And there was a, a crew guy who was kind of filling in, didn't really, didn't know me. He'd probably done the show a couple times. Anyways, he went to grab, uh, give me the rope for the rope swing and, I wasn't holding it and he just let go and it swung out on stage and there was no person on it. I wasn't on it, but the show must go on. So there's just this empty rope sitting on stage and I had to run out and do my same blocking and everyone just lost it and thought it was the funniest thing ever (laughs) because I was so committed, which like, come on, what am I supposed to do? My second uh, miss show mishap was in hairspray. I was uh, in welcome to the sixties. There's this, hot dog cart that I got to push around and I had to do a cabriole, which is kind of this, like, I don't even know. I'm not a dancer, but it sounds fancy. So I always say that I had to do a cabriole on a Broadway stage. Mm -hmm. Um, but I had to do that. And, um, George went, I don't know if you might, you guys might be too young for it, but he was on cheers. He played Norm on cheers. Um, he was playing, uh, the mom. Uh, What's the character? The mom's name, Edna. Edna, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So he was playing Edna, and there was, you know, that there was this call. It was called a passerelle, where on the stage there was a cutout here, a cutout in the center for the conductor, and Mm -hmm. then another cutout. And then there was maybe about three feet of or four feet of stage that went around. And I had to take that hot dog cart and go around that tiny spot and do my cabriole center (laughs) stage. Uh, Except one night, I just completely went right into one of those those pits and my hot I was just like trying to I was struggling so much I was and it's a heavy it's like a proper yeah. hot dog cart. and George went who's this like he's just a big dude in his like moo moo gown comes up and just like with one hand pulls that hot dog cart out of the pit and he's like let's go I'm like yeah. okay cool yeah, yeah. real <laughs> so it was just he was just like he said, if we're behind this, this whole numbers, there's things flying in. Right. He's just like, let's do this. I'm going to get you out of that pit. So that's a pretty cool memory. Okay. Yeah, I heard a story um, recently from a video I was watching. Um, so he, you know, in Wicked, they have those like those big weird head things in One Short Day. Oh, yeah. They're called, you know what they're called? They are called, I can't even think what they're called. I'll get back. Yeah, I'll think about what they're called. <laughs> but he was doing the, he was doing that. He was a swing, so he usually didn't do that part. And so when uh-huh. he was running around, he fell into one of those, like, you know how the Wicked stage has, like, it's, like, weird. It has different dynamics, like, so oh, yeah. low. Different he levels, fell down, yeah. And he, told, and he said that he had, like, these big clown shoes. And uh-huh. so he couldn't get back up. And so then one of the Aussies had to, like, come and, like, lift him back up. <laughs> <laughs> those things are, it's like Humpty Dumpty. Yeah. They're just like, wow. Yeah. Or, like, a cockroach. I can't think of what they're called. They're called something. Probably something silly. Yeah. It, it, it's but it's like unexpected. Oh, they're called flatheads. Oh, okay. Yeah, they are silly. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I don't like I, that. They're just called flatheads. So it's really funny though watching the people get into those, and it's a thing because they have they zip up on the side. It takes like two people to get into them. They've got a pole because the necks go up, yeah, right? Yeah. So they've got a pole in front of them. The best part is they always put their clown shoes on first, so they're just walking around like normal people with clown shoes. <laughs> it's pretty silly. Yeah. So what inspires you? Um, I am inspired by a lot of things. I think, um, I've been doing, I've been in the business for a long time. So there are a lot of things that have kind of not crushed my spirit, but just kind of like made me maybe a little jaded or a little like, yeah, I don't love this anymore. Cause Mm -hmm. it's it's just like with anything with, it's a job at the end of the day. Um, there are things that make jobs not fun. Right. But I think what inspires me is people like you, young people who just love it so much and the opportunity to, to talk about what I have done and how talking to you about it puts it into perspective for me of like, oh, I've, I've like lived the dream. Like, this is pretty cool. So 
being able to tell my stories and have you guys react in the way you do is pretty awesome. Um, also like audiences, which is, they're kind of the same thing, just the viewer, whether they're casual or they're huge fans, the fact that I can go out on stage and sing and people are like captivated and listen is really special. And it's not very often that that happens and it's going to be a while probably before that happens again. So, um, when I do get back out there, it's going to be pretty, pretty special, I think for everyone. Um, what musical would you want to turn into a movie and who would you cast? Uh, I'm trying to think of musicals that haven't already been turned yeah, into. Yeah, right, right. This question, oh man, this question that's a tough based, one. This question came based off of like the new Dear Evan Hansen movie. Oh, I see. I didn't even know that. And I'm pro. I I might even really? say a show. I know. I don't. I'm so yeah. out of like. <laughs> that's cool. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of because it's like, is it like a movie like Hairspray or is it filmed like how what Hamilton? Because right. that was pretty cool too. Yeah. Mm, oh. I don't know. Like everyone, every musical has either been a movie movie that I've loved or, hang on, let me rack my brain. I think it'd be cool to see like, um, like I love all the Pixar movies mm-hmm. and my new favorite one is Onward. Oh, yeah. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Okay. But I don't know any people that are blue. <laughs> so, um, I guess so it's two brothers right yeah. so who could it be and I can't can I cast myself just kidding why yeah. not to <laughs> why not <laughs> no that's that's so that's so selfish no but I see you being the older brother actually yeah I could see I that I do too. see that yeah I could see that okay I could, okay I'll be the older brother and then I need how about Joel I'll cast you as the younger brother <laughs> why not Right, and yeah, I'll perfect. show you the ways of my lordship or whatever. Yeah, you, that guy was, like you yeah. drive in, in a car, right? Like a van, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. Okay, I like it. So, what is your favorite Broadway moment or memory? Hmm, my favorite Broadway moment or memory would probably be. I mean, I will never forget my Broadway debut. Um, just because I had to learn, it was Hairspray in 2008, um, and I was maybe 20. So, were you guys even born then? He was it. He was, was just, just born. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. That's so <laughs> crazy. I'm so old. Um, and I, I mean, that's just like I'll remember that. Not, not because of how. I mean, yes, because it was it was really cool and like really awesome. But I was also just terrified. You know, like. Yeah. I say I remember it, but I probably don't. Like, mm-hmm. I probably it was just a huge blur to me. Because, um, you know, I had to learn the show in, in basically a week, and then a week to kind of rehearse it with people and costumes. You have two weeks to, like, be put into a show. It's pretty crazy. So I was a little in over my head, but I think more of just that it was real. Like, that was, it was real. Like, something I've always dreamed of, and whether or not I have specific memories, like, I know that it happened, and um, so that's pretty special to look back on, and just to that I did it, you know, that I was able to do that, and in such a, such a short amount of time, and pushing a hot dog cart with the cabriol, right? <laughs> yeah, you know. What was the hardest part about doing Wicked? Um, so, Wicked's awesome. I have probably the easiest part in Wicked, so <laughs> yeah. I think. Uh, the easiest and the funnest, like the most fun part. Mm -hmm. And just, it's just great. Um, the toughest part is probably not the show specifically, but more when I'm on tour with it. Um, because you know, you're like, I live in Denver now and the altitude here is really tough to sing Mm -hmm. in and it's really dry. And you know, you can be in Denver for five weeks and then, you're in Seattle for an, for a month and it's really wet and sea level there. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'd say the elements that you have to deal with on tour are really tough. Um, specifically to Broadway, Wicked is tough because the stage is, it's called a raked stage. Do you know what that means? Yes. 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 Where it's, it's like it's elevated. Like yeah. elevated. Mm-hmm. yeah. So the stage from, if this is upstage yeah, and downstage, exactly. the audience yeah. is here. It's, it's like a, mm-hmm. like a, it's, it's on a level. Yeah. So that's really tough because I mean, 
just even standing there, your back hurts. Because, you know, you have to either sit and do a hip or it's just, it's something you don't think about. So that's probably the toughest part about the Broadway company specifically. What is your favorite scene under any musicals you've been in? Favorite scene? Any musicals I've been in? Uh, I have two. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I loved, uh, I loved the scene in Kinky Boots, the end of Act One, where with all the treadmills. Yes. Uh, I forget what the name of the song is, uh, but that scene is so awesome and chaotic. And on tour, sometimes uh, the you know because there's the belt rolling on top, and yeah. then there were casters on the bottom that were either locked or not locked, and sometimes they would not unlock, and they had to be moved in a certain way. And people are on top, like walking. It's it was <laughs> mayhem, but it was always so much fun. And like after it was over, everyone was like. We all alive? We all alive? Okay, right. cool. Um, and I'd say my second favorite one is for the opposite reason, which is as long as your mind in Wicked, because I literally just get to sit there in the fog, which is nice and cool, and sing with someone who is awesome, and it's just great. Just It's very rare you get to like just be face-to-face singing with someone, sitting down, and not having every anything else happening. So. Yeah. Ooh. So now we can play a game. Uh, okay. We can play both games or one game. Yeah, or whatever you want. Game, whatever you want to do. Want to play both? Uh, let's do both, yeah. Okay. okay, so we can start with put your finger down. <laughs> Quick disclaimer, guys. We interviewed Kurt before, and we had to do that because they were installing carpet, and they were super duper loud. But we played put your finger down before, and he almost left up the wrong finger. You know what I'm talking about, that middle finger. That's why we keep on laughing and making references, just so you guys know. Anyways, here is the rest of the video. <laughs> yeah! Okay. Put a finger down if you had to reject plans because of rehearsal. Yep. Put a finger down if you cried at closing night. Yep. Put a finger down if you've been noticed on the street. Yes. Put a finger down if you interacted with that theater girl. Always. Put a finger down if a famous person ever came to your show. Yeah. Put a finger oh. down if you farted on stage. Yep. Put a Always. Finger... <laughs> I'm actually, full disclosure, I'm farting right now. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not. Put a finger down if you've fallen on stage. <laughs> yep. Put a finger down if your voice cracked on stage. Yeah, of course. Put a finger down if you've gotten gifts from fans. Yes. All right, one last one. Put your finger down if you played multiple roles. In, in a show? show? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. In that production of Parade, I think it was like, I was eight different parts. It was crazy. That's yeah, but, crazy. Yeah, but like the cast was small, right? Yeah, so okay. the cast usually is like 40, and it was narrowed down to like 15 people. It was pretty, oh yeah. God. So then everyone had to kind of do their, yeah, their own do other their things. Part. Well, you won that game. Yeah, you did good. <laughs> All or I down. lost. I don't know. I mean... <laughs> and and there were no finger mishaps this time. Right. I know. Thank God. <laughs> I was really focused on that. Okay, so now we can. This, see. Is, a, this is a family show, everyone. Right, right, right. <laughs> Guess the musical. Oh boy. Okay. Green meets blonde. Wicked. The end is coming. Game of Thrones. I'm just kidding. It's not a musical. Simple Sponge. That's your clue for that one. Oh, Spongebob. Yes. Squarepants. Yes. The musical. Yes. <laughs> Freak meets pink. Mean Girls? Yes. A yes. whole bunch of David Spike Goliaths. Want me to give you a clue? No. Okay. In five seconds, maybe. <laughs> a whole bunch of David Spike Goliaths. Little women? Little women? No. Oh. Okay, okay give me you, a clue. I'm going to give you a clue. Seize the day. Oh! Newsies. <laughs> yes. Cape, cow, hair, and slipper. Oh, into the woods? Yes. Let it go. You let it go. Oh, uh, frozen. <laughs> 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 That's the last <laughs> Is that the last one? No, I think that's oh. the actual thing for you to get it off. That's Frozen. Not... Yes. Yeah. My shot. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my shot. Yes. Yeah. 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 Hamilton. Yes. Turn it off. 
Ooh. It's tap dancing. Book of Mormon. Yes. Arabian Nights. Aladdin, please. <laughs> That's it for the games. Yeah, we're done. Okay. No, we're not. Wait, can I oh can I ask you? I have one question for each of you. Yes. Yes. All right. Savannah. Mm-hmm. Would you rather have hands for feet or feet for hands? Feet for hands. Because you can still walk on hands. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And then your your hands wouldn't be smelly. Yeah. And you, <laughs> yeah. Also, you can't like pick anything up with your feet. So like, I can yeah, still walk you on... don't have an oppos- Unless you have an opposable big toe. Right. So I, I think have. that would be the most like like easiest thing to do. Just put your hands for feet. Okay. Uh, Joel. Uh, I think it would go in. Would you rather have the head of a hamster or the body of a rhinoceros? The head of a hamster or the body of a rhinoceros? The body of a rhinoceros because if somebody gets my nerves, I can just be like, you know what? I'm done Stop. with you. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like, a head of a hamster would be kind of like cute and adorable. It's kind of cute. Yeah. I know. That's why yeah, it's but, I st- but I still need my face because, I mean, look at this. I still need it. You kind of look like a, okay. a human hamster, though. Like, you've yeah. got a cute face, right. you know? So, like, yeah, yeah like, why, it's like, like a win-win it, win 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 situation. Exactly. Yeah. Totally, yeah. totally. Okay, so now we can go on to <laughs> quick, quick rounds! <laughs> okay, we did this last time, so you already know what the game is, so let's yeah. just get into it. I know. Hang on, can I focus? Yes, you can focus. Get in. I'm ready. Okay. Favorite Halloween costume? <laughs> As some when I was younger, pictures I saw, I was a, a robot made out of cardboard boxes and egg cartons. That was pretty cool. I might bring that one back. Harry Potter house. I think I'm Hufflepuff. Favorite holiday. Thanksgiving. Mm. Favorite song. Uh, I've had She's Always a Woman by Billy Joel stuck in my head for like two weeks. Favorite. Do you know that one? I don't really know don't Billy know. Joel. Listen to it after this. It's so good. I don't know like like the song like title but i know like i can hear it and be like oh i know that so it yeah. goes uh uh maybe da, 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 maybe she, da, 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 i think i do she's always a woman to me i think i probably the do. sad thing is that so my, my name is joel and i don't even know billy joel um <laughs> favorite it'd be actor. bad if your name was billy too yeah. so what if your last name was billy <laughs> like, and that'd be really, really sad. Like, really who has last name Billy? Like, I don't know anyone that would have that Joel last Billy? name. Joel yeah. Billy? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm ahead. sure there's someone. Okay, sorry. This yeah. is not very quick. <laughs> Favorite actor? Uh, ooh. I like Jude Law, and I just saw him uh, the other night in him. Captain Marvel. My God. He's, yeah. He's, like, my one of, like, my favorite actors. He's so good. I don't know what it is. I just want to look like him, too. I'm like, oh, he's so good looking. He is. <laughs> Favorite musical? Um, Hairspray. Favorite food? I just made some bomb pickles from my garden, and I can't stop eating them. Like pickled cucumbers mm-hmm. and pickled peppers and pickled onions. So I love those. But I wouldn't say they're my favorite, but this week, yes. We have a big pickle garden in our backyard, too. Oh, really? Yeah. We have, like, so good. pickle, squash, zucchini, mm. eggplant, and then tomatoes. Yeah. Do you have a big backyard? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Like, <laughs> mm, probably, let's see, a 30-foot by 10-foot, like, little city mm-hmm. yard. But I make the most of it. We have okay, a lot sorry. of pickles okay. just, like, sitting upstairs and trying to, like, do something with it. Like, probably we're going to pickle yeah. it. But, like, there's a lot of pickles. Too many, yeah. too many cucumbers. There's a lot. Yeah, the, I'm like... You like rest, you don't look at for one day, and all of a sudden they're like, they go from this to like really fast. Yeah. I have to it's keep picking them every single day, especially if you ever do zucchini, you have to go out there every day. They oh, get really? really big. Really, wait, you want to solo show him right quick? After we're done, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. where are we even at? I think we're at favorite uh, food. Uh, no, we just did okay. favorite musical, we just did favorite food. Favorite food. food. Okay, favorite choreographer. Um. I love, I actually really love working with Jerry Mitchell. He's really fun. Uh, he's picks on me because I'm not a dancer, but he's, <laughs> I love doing his stuff. Favorite beverage? Mm, can I say red wine? Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Red wine. <laughs> Favorite place to eat in New York? Ooh, Mamoon's Falafel. They're, I don't know if it was the original one. It was in the West Village, but the one I always go to is on, um, 
is on uh is it on West Fourth? Like West Fourth and Bleecker. So good. Okay. Biggest pet peeve. McDougal and Bleecker, sorry. Uh biggest pet peeve <laughs> is um people bad drivers, first of all. And people I guess just rude people. Whether or not it's driving, it's like chomping, like people who are not aware of they're aware are people who aren't self-aware mm-hmm. i like that yeah yeah just rude people <laughs> well that's <laughs> it we're done yeah. hey Yay. and um, no construction this time okay no go construction. show me your squash i'll yeah. get one <laughs> it's, it's it's very it to big. Like- you're gonna be very shocked because like usually like from the store like this small but yeah. the ones that we have are humongous but they also don't taste better the bigger they get though that's the problem yeah, like, they, yeah are, they can get big but they have they have there's like bigger seeds in them because the seeds are kind of like eating on the bigger zucchini so when you uh, cut it it has like humongous seeds in them so it's kind of hard <laughs> to eat there's yeah a bigger yeah one outside. why would you get oh there's a bigger one outside yeah but this okay is, this is pretty big this is, this is like this is kind of medium it's kind of medium compared <laughs> oh to our <laughs> That looks, it still looks pretty delicious, though. Yeah. 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 It just has b- really big seeds, so it's mm-hmm. kind of hard to eat. So you have to Yeah, like, that's what's tough with the cucumbers, too, with the big seeds, because then, or if you don't cut them thick enough, then there's seeds in the, right, in the yeah. vinegar and stuff. So, but like, usually we, like, make um, pasta out of this. Or mm. bread. Yeah. Like, you do, like, the spirally thing? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 And my mom made, like, zucchini crab cakes. Oh, yeah. I had no clue, and they were amazing. I made a zucchini bread. It was pretty good, too. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys! Thanks for watching! Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you can find out when a new video comes out. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok at bway underscore time and check out our website, broadwaytimeonline.com. And next week we have a special Thanksgiving special with a special guest! Ooh, I wonder who it could be. Anyways, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye! Toodles! Bra-